what's up everyone welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video i'm going to show you how to set up project blood strike key mapping in game loop emulator actually project blood strike key mapping it's little bit complicated but in this video i'm gonna show you everything in simple and easy way i think this video is going to be very helpful for you and this video help you to know how to set up key mapping if you don't have a right click button in game loop emulator if this video is help if you like this video then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that's all about the intro let's jump into the main things so first of all you have to go inside practice range and confirm and start play and it will take like two three seconds to start a match so here you can see the match started actually the match it's not a match it's a practice range so after start the practice range you have to open your in-game settings after that gameplay then here you can see it's a auto screen mode over here you have to if it's off then make it on then go back and open the setting again and control if your control hood this one then choose this one first then custom and you will get this kind of window over here so if your control hood like this then don't do anything if you already customize something then reset it and after reset what should you do you have to choose this open button over here and the aid button you have to put aid on open button and after that you have to open your key map from game loop after that here you can see there is nothing over here if you already have something then reset it and after that put every single key one by one so first i'm going to put joystick so here you can see this one is asd button you don't need to do anything over here your character will automatically sprint so you don't need to change anything so after that the aim button you have to put the aim button over here and if you want you can change the key so i'm going to use the control key over here and and another button you have to add it's called the fire button so i'm going to put the fire button over here and after that all those additional key you have to be add so this one is for ability i'm going to use e and the marking enemy i'm going to use alt button and scope i'm not going to use anything because this one is the little bit complicated so i'm going to show you at last how to uh, set up a right click over here so for open button i'm going to use f open and heal your enemy so open revive your enemy open the door everything will be work with f and the first weapon one and second weapon two and the uh, and the healing and the healing i'm going to use four for a grenade i'm going to use three and r for reload and c for crouch and the jump space tap for backpack and if you want you can use a button over here i'm going to use p for purchase or we have to add an another button m to open map you have to put over here so your key, key mapping it's almost done accept the right button so now i'm going to show you how you can set up the right click so for right click you have to install a software in your pc the software called x mouse button control so you can find it from your browser just you have to open your browser and search x mouse button control you see the x mouse download just search x mouse download you can download it from any of website from here just choose a website and open it and download the latest version your yeah, oldest version whatever you wants to so after download the xmouse you have to be installed in your pc so now what should you do you will find xmouse button over here and uh, you will get the default section over here you are not going to get the game loop one so i'm going to remove it and i'm going to set up again so now what should you do 
you have to click on add button after that you have to make sure your game loop is running right now so if your game loop running then you will get android.exe over here you have to choose it click it ok after that you have to find out the right button over here click on right button and you will get simulated key over here you have to click on simulated key and you have to put a key from your keyboard over here so i'm gonna put t button for my right click and you have to click on ok apply close and after that you have to come back in game loop and you have to put t button on scope button and save it and save again go back to practice range and try to use your right click if it's not work you have to open your in-game settings and you have to put it ads mode tab that's it if it's hold mixed or double tap you have to choose tap from here you don't need to choose anything from here after choose the tab one now try your right click is going to be work and the left click is working too so now check the sprint button sprint is working or not so here you can see my character is sprinting i don't need any kind of shift or additional button for sprint so this is the way to uh, set up the key mapping i hope you guys are understanding everything if you are not let me know in the comment section definitely i'll help you and uh, if you want to know how to install project blood strike in game loop emulator then you can check out the left video so that's all about this video stay safe and stay connected with me